welcome to today's class today we would be understanding the problems related to the concept of dice so i have this sample in my hand now as we can see we have six faces so 1 2 3 and 4 on the four sides and top and bottom so there are six faces in a dice that we need to understand now most of the dice problems that are asked are basically focused on two things first is paper folding experiments okay and second is cutting the dice into multiple pieces okay so let's first do the exercise when we are cutting the dice into multiple pieces now assume that i have a dice in my hand okay and i am dividing this dice into 64 pieces when i say 64 pieces what does that mean if this is a front of the dice okay i will be dividing it into four equal parts so 1 2 3 and 4 and then you will be having four equal parts here okay now this is the front of the dice so say on this dice i mark these four lines okay now this same will happen on each side of the dice so let's try to understand the corners of the dice say a pink color okay so let's say these four are pink in nature so i will draw same pink color here okay so these four are pink in color now just forget this just focus on this if this is pink color and the same is happening on all the six sides of the dice this corner will be pink and this corner will again be pink so this would be pink bottom would be pink this would be pink bottom would be pink this would be pink and bottom would be pink so if i see from here there are four pieces which have three sides of pink color now this is repeated from here and here so the only thing option left is on this side so again if i say this section would be pink this section would be pink this section would be pink and this section would be pink so in this diagram i can say the front face of the cube you have four sides that are pink and the back face will have four sides that are pink with three sides so if i calculate three sides which are colored that would be pink is 1 2 3 and 4 on the front and 4 on the back so total number of sides that are uh pink in color with three sides as painted would be 8 now let's look on to the number of cubes uh with two colors that would be painted so it would be say yellow on this color okay yellow on this one yellow here yellow here yellow here here and here okay so you have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 on the front face so 8 on the front front face 8 on the back face plus now let's take this so you have yellow 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 and yellow now these two here and here would be gone okay and the same would happen here so 8 in the front and 8 in the back now what is remaining is on this side you have top and bottom so here top and bottom and here also top and bottom because sides would go with the this side so you have four on this side and four on the remaining side so you have 4 plus 4 so what would be the total is 8 plus 8 16 16 plus 8 24 so you would have 24 cubes that would have two sides painted okay there would be 24 cubes which will have two sides painted now how many of the cubes will have one side painted now in the same cube if i try to 
to mark these ones with the red. Okay. So I have one, two, three, and four with the red. So four on each side. So how many cubes are there? So here it would be four. Top four, side four. So six faces and four on each side. So it would be four into six. That's again twenty-four cubes. So twenty-four cubes would be there, which would have one side painted. Okay. Now, since we are cutting whole of the cube into sixty-four pieces, okay, we have eight that are three sides painted, twenty-four that have two sides painted, and twenty-four that have one side painted. So there is a simple equation that we can adopt here. That sixty-four minus eight plus twenty-four plus twenty-four. Okay, so you will have sixty-four minus twenty-four plus twenty-four is forty-eight plus uh, eight. That's fifty-six. So sixty-four uh, minus fifty-six. So there would be eight pieces or eight cubes that would have no side painted. Okay. So with this we understand. That if we have a cube that is given, we have the six faces that we know. We can find out the three sides that that would be painted. Number of cubes with two sides that are painted with one side, and there would be in the middle, in the center of this cube. When we cut this into pieces, there would be eight cubes that would remain, and they would have no side as painted. Okay. So this is the first thing that we have tried to understand today. The next exercise that we will be doing today is based on the concept of paper folding. So let's look into the concept of paper folding once again. So if I have a cube, okay, and on that cube I am trying to do some exercises which talk about folding the paper. So what I would do is. So here is what I have drawn. Okay, if I say there is a circle, there is a sign of multiplication, addition, subtraction, and a kind of top arrow. Okay, and then I have four cubes. Okay, that would be drawn based on it. Now on these four cubes, if I say I draw a circle on this side. I draw arrow on this side, okay, and a multiplication on this side. Is it possible? So if I keep this, if I fold this into as um, a kind of cube, I can say circle should correspond to a sign of multiplication. That's correct, okay. But this sign of multiplication can never be close to this arrow. Because this arrow would go on to the reverse side, so having a multiplication and an arrow simultaneously is incorrect. So I can say, if I draw out a cube in this fashion, okay, where I say I have a circle here, I have an arrow here, and a multiplication sign here, that would be incorrect. Okay. The next is, I have a cube. I draw a circle here. And a multiplication here. So I can say this is correct as per this diagram. So this option. So if there are four options which are asked to to be solved based on this, I can say the first one will be was incorrect. This is a correct option. Now let's look forward to the next option. I have a multiplication sign and a positive sign. So you have a multiplication sign that is adjacent to a positive sign, which is similar to this. So this is again correct. And in the last case, I take a circle which is adjacent to a negative sign. So this is again incorrect. So in this figure, circle and negative sign would go reverse to one another rather than being adjacent to one another. So if I have this figure and I have to draw it correctly, what I would do is, so you have a circle here. 
Okay. Next to circle you would have a multiplication sign. So here is something already drawn. But next to multiplication you will have a negative sign. Next to negative sign you will have a arrow that is here. And on the top of it you will have a plus sign. So should, this should be the correct figure when we convert it into a cube. So you, on the top you will have a positive sign. You will have a circle here. A multiplication here. A negative sign here. And a arrow here. So this should be something that is correct in nature. So this was another experiment that we did today. That is exercise that is based on paper folding. So with this we covered the section on dice. We would be continuing with more sections in reasoning. Uh, in